In this lesson, we will find the equation of an ellipse given certain conditions. Let us recall first the standard equation of an ellipse with center at hk. It's given by the following formula. Let us also recall the graph of an ellipse. If a appears with your variable x, that means that you have a horizontal ellipse. This is our center hk. The major axis will be a horizontal line and the vertices will appear A units away from your center. The endpoints of your minor axis will be B units away from your center. And your focus will be C units away from your center. And of course, it has to lie along the major axis. Similarly, if you have a vertical ellipse, which will happen if A appears with your variable Y. Again, this is your center HK. This is your major axis. This is your minor axis. The length of the major axis will be 2A because the vertices are A units away from the center. And the endpoints of your minor axis will be B units away from your center. Let us find the equation of an ellipse in standard form whose endpoints of the axis are the following points. First, let us start by graphing the points. We have the points 10, negative 3, negative 6, negative 3, 2, 1, and 2, negative 7. Take note that this means that this will be our major axis because this is longer. This has length 10 minus negative 6, so that is 16. This will be our minor axis. This one has length equal to 1 minus negative 7, so that's equal to let me just draw the ellipse that we obtained. Take note that in order to get the equation of our ellipse, we have to get our center HK and the values of A and B. So we need our center and A and B. Let us recall that the center is just the intersection of your major axis and your minor axis. And from the diagram, what is that? That is the point 2 negative 3. What will be our A? Recall that A is just the distance of your vertex from your center. And since this line segment has length equal to 16, our A is just the half of it, which is 8. B is just the distance of one of your endpoints of your minor axis from the center. And from our diagram, it's equal to 1 minus negative 3, so therefore that's equal to 4. Which among these two formulas should we get? Since we have here a horizontal ellipse, A goes with x. So thus our equation is x minus 2 squared all over 8 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared all over 4 squared. This is the equation of your ellipse. Next, let us find the equation of an ellipse whose center is 2, 2, focus is 2, 6, minor axis is of length 6. Let me just write down what we have. The center is 2, 2. We just need the values of A and B. Again, let us draw the given. We have center of 2, 2. Focus is 2, 6. So let's say that this is 6. This is one of the focus. Since our focus is the point 2, 6, this is now our major axis. What can we get from here? From here, we can now get the value of our C. C is the distance of your foci from the center. So our C is equal to 4. What else? We are given that the minor axis is of length 6. But 
what is the length of the minor axis? The length of our minor axis is equal to 2B. So from here, we get that 2B is equal to 6. And therefore, B is equal to 3. We already have B and C. What is the relationship among A, B, and C? It's A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. A is the hypotenuse of the right triangle with legs 3 and 4. And therefore, what is that? A must be equal to 5. We can now get the equation of our ellipse. Our major axis is a vertical line. So, A goes with the variable y. So, therefore, the equation is y minus k squared, which is 2, all over a squared plus x minus h squared, which is 2, and b is 3, so that's 9. Next, let us find the equation of an ellipse centered at 1, 3. So this is good. We're already given 1, 3. Again, we want to find our a and b. And vertex is at 1, negative 1 and passes through the origin. Again, let us draw what is given. The point 1, 3 is this point. This will be our center. Vertex is at 1, negative 1. So what can we get from here? We can already get our A because the distance of your vertex from your center is your A. And what is that? That's 3 minus negative 1. So therefore, A is equal to 4. We just need to get our B. Take note that since our vertex and center lie on a vertical line, it means that our A goes with Y. The equation of our ellipse is given by y minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. However, we already know that the center is 1, 3. So this is y minus 3 squared. Our a is 4. Our h is 1. We only need to find our variable b. However, we're also given that the ellipse passes through the origin. It means that the point 0, 0 satisfies this equation. Plugging in x equals 0 and y equals 0, we get 9 over 16 plus 1 over b squared is equal to 1. So therefore, 1 over b squared is... 1 minus 9 over 16, which is equal to 7 over 16. Hence, b squared is equal to the reciprocal of 7 over 16. 16 over 7. So our b here is 4 over square root of 7. Therefore, the equation of our graph is y minus 3 squared over 16 plus x minus 1 squared all over b squared. But b squared is 16 over 7. It will go to the numerator is equal to 1. That is the equation of this graph. Next, let us find the equation of an ellipse with endpoints of the minor axis located at negative 5, 2, and 5, 2, and one vertex at 0, 9. Let us plot the points that were given. We have negative 5, 2, and 5, 2. These are the endpoints of your minor axis, which tells us that, what is our center? Our center is just the midpoint. What is the midpoint of these two points? It's the point 0, 2. What else can we get from here? These are the endpoints of your minor axis and that distance should be equal to B. But from here, that distance is 5. So we get that B is equal to 5. 
what else? One of our vertex is the point 0, 0,9. So let's say that this is 9. What is the distance of the vertex from the center? That is your A. So therefore, we get that A here is equal to 7. We already have our center A and B. Which form do we use for the equation? Our vertex and center lie on a vertical axis, so therefore A goes with Y. So our equation is Y minus 2 squared all over A squared, which is 49, plus X minus H squared, so that's just X squared all over B squared. This is now the equation of our ellipse. For our last example, let us get the equation of an ellipse for which the sum of the distances from the two foci is equal to 12. Again, let us plot the points that were given to us. Negative 5, 0, and 5, 0. These are your foci. Their midpoint is the center. So therefore, our center is 0, 0. And what else? From here, the distance of your focus from your center is given by C. So therefore, our C is equal to 5. Let us recall also that the sum of the distances of any point from the two foci is given by 2A. So therefore, we get that A must be equal to 6. We just need our B. But then again, what is the relationship? A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. So therefore, B squared is equal to A squared minus C squared. So that's 6 squared, 36 minus 25. That's equal to 11. So our B is square root of 11. Since our center and our foci lies on a horizontal line, our A goes with the variable X. Therefore, our equation is X. Our center is 0, 0. So this is just X squared over A squared plus Y squared over B squared, which is 11. This is equal to 1. Here are some exercises that you can work on.